played the video game once and those damn robots got me. But maybe Mike will have better luck. What's up YouTube Zero here and today I have the movie review of Five Nights at Freddy's. That's right, there is now a movie of Five Nights at Freddy's which is coming out because its counterpart, the video game franchise, has done very well. Very cool game, very creepy. But can this movie live up to the standard set by its video game counterpart? We'll stick around in this movie review. I'm going to go over the synopsis. I'm going to talk about the actors, go over what you may like and not like in Five Nights at Freddy's. And of course, at the end of the video, I'm going to give my rating out of 10. So make sure you stick around for that. Without further ado, let's get into this movie review. The first, the main actor, I already brought him up, Mike, played by Josh Hutcherson, whom you may know from the Hunger Games franchise. He has been around a little bit, but that's the main movies that I know him from anyway. The second main actor in Five Nights at Freddy's is going to be Elizabeth Lail, who plays Vanessa. Honestly, I didn't really recognize most of what she was in, probably because she hasn't really acted in a lot of what I typically watch, so really she's not in a lot of the horror genre, so this is her first attempt in the horror genre. And then, of course, there are other actors in here, but the main one that y'all probably know and love if you watch a lot of horror is going to be Matthew Lillard, who plays Steve Raglan. Of course, Matthew Lillard, known for his role in Scream, 13 Ghosts, among others. But great actor. So now let's get into what you may like and what you may not like. This is a quick movie review. So first, what I liked and what you may like. This is a horror movie. There's not a lot of comedy. There is a little bit of here and there, but not a ton of comedy. The movie is horror. And it does a good job at portraying the horror aspects. Now, I wouldn't say the entire movie or the entire mood of the entire movie is creepy like some other movies that I've watched, but it does a good job of pacing in terms of horror aspects and non-horror aspects. The main character, Mike, you can really get a feel for what he's going through from onset when he's introduced to the end of the movie, you can really feel for him and his character. So that's also fantastic. The acting in this movie from Josh Hutcherson, Elizabeth Lail, and the other supporting cast is great as well. I don't really get a sense of, no, I really don't like the acting of this character. Now, it's okay to hate a character inside the movie because of how good the actor is done, which I don't hate any of their acting. I didn't hate any of the characters. Well, maybe the ant a little bit. But the acting itself was phenomenal. Even the child, Piper Rubio, who plays Abby, did a fantastic job, which it all came together. The story. Now I'm going to put this kind of in the middle as to something you may like something you may not like the plot in the story itself it was okay i didn't it it was a little hit or miss for me i'm not sure that i was a huge fan of the entire plot and how it progressed and once the unveil of what happened and everything i wasn't a huge fan of it, it was okay again it may connect to the video games. I only played it once, and that was the first one, so people who are huge into the video game, you may know more than I do, but I'm just saying in general, the plot was okay, not great, but how they unveiled it was decent. I enjoyed the movie. The characters and acting was great. The horror aspects were nice, and some of the little funny moments were there as well, like a lot of movies try to do nowadays. Now let's get into what you may not like. So I am a huge horror buff. I've watched a lot of horror movies. This horror movie is on the lower end when it really comes to blood and guts. If Saw is a 10, this may be a 
four, maybe. There's not a lot of them. While there are horror aspects and there are some blood and guts, there's not a ton. So if it's a movie where you're looking for that, you better look elsewhere. While there is a decent amount of horror times in the movie, there wasn't really a time where I would have jumped. Well, I didn't jump, but there weren't really times in the movie, maybe once or twice, where I could see people jumping from scares or being horrified by this movie. So in terms of horror, I wouldn't say it's really on the top end of horror in general in terms of being scary. While it was a little creepy at times, I wouldn't necessarily put it in the cream of the crop when it comes to horror horror. So that's some of the reasons why you may not enjoy this movie. But ultimately, the movie does come together pretty well. The acting is great. You can really connect to the main character. You can follow the story. You know why the main character is doing what he does and why some of the supporting cast is doing what they do. There's nothing that really throws you for a huge loop. Overall, despite the fact that there was a little bit of lack of horror, and you don't always need the blood and guts. Of course, I'm a sucker for a Saw movie, but there's nothing wrong with a movie like, say, The Conjuring that doesn't have a lot of blood and guts, just a lot of scares. This doesn't have a lot of blood and guts, a little bit. Doesn't have a ton of scares, but ultimately it all does come together. And I enjoyed it. This was a decent movie. I'm probably gonna watch this a couple of times a year. So I'm gonna put this at a seven out of 10. It's not a perfect movie. Some of the plot was uh, okay. The scares wasn't a ton, but it was decent. The creepy feel was nice, not always there, but the acting was phenomenal. The movie itself moved along fine, and I enjoyed the ride. The characters were likable. I could really connect with them. So ultimately, 7 out of 10. But let me know in the comments section what you thought of Five Nights at Freddy's. Did you like it as much as I did, or are you not a fan? I'd like to hear your comments, and let me know. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe, and until next time, peace.